guys lost you my name's debbie and this is my channel mama bear stitchery uh i'm coming to you today to talk about my february cross stitch update if you're new here welcome and if you're returning a massive thank you um especially if you're coming from my whip parade and intro video i hope this doesn't disappoint given it's my first real like it update video uh february's been interesting Last week was midterm break for schools here in California and I had the flu along with my oldest Maya. We were stuck in the house all week in self-quarantine um, and now my youngest Elena is home with the flu so hopefully you don't hear her coughing too much. We had a good run, we had our flu shots in October and I'm a room parent so we avoided it for a long time but that's what it is. But I got a lot of stitching done, uh, I binge watched Floss Tube and Netflix. So I have a lot to show you today, all thanks to the flu. I worked on eight projects this month, uh, two finishes and one, which is a big one, is nearly a finish and will definitely be a March finish. So let's get started. We'll start on a high. The first one was a start and a finish this month and there's nothing to show beforehand. This is Salem by Verbena Cross Stitch. I'm part of her Facebook group. Um, she has an Etsy shop, which I will link below. For a month, not for a month, for about a week in January, she was giving away charts to her shop. You get to pick which one you wanted. And her only condition, well, not even a condition, she only asked if you could post pictures of your stitching and your finish, just to generate some whips. And I picked this one. This is Salem. Um, it's the one that first led me to her shop. It's only three colours, DMC 310, the orange is 720, and the third colour was supposed to be uh, olive green, but I changed it to DMC 35. And it was a super quick stitch. It's only 80 by 80 stitches. Uh, so I stitched this up in about three or four days. And this is stitched on 28 count Opal Lugana in the colour Bridget by Under the Sea Fabrics. And that was my first finish for the month. My next project was Raven Queen by Mirabella. And I'll insert a picture of where I was before. And this is where I am now. There we go. So I got quite a lot of her done. There's a lot of color changes in her dress there and the water lilies is a bit slow going and I'm part of the semi sane stitcher cross stitch um, challenge group on Facebook and I was stitching on her every day for one of the challenges until I got sick and I fell off the band one going with that one a bit and I think this month before I put her away I'm going to fill in this raven and the buildings that go up here uh, I started this one because our friend Sherry uh, set a challenge she's not starting many things this year and she, to a couple of friends of ours she said could you start Amira on her birthday and with the challenge of trying to finish it before December the 31st so challenge accepted and I'm going to plug away a little bit every month at this one and try and get this done and she is stitched on 28 count Jobelin also called Bridget but by Hand Eye Fabrics by Stephanie so got a lot of that one done the next one is Winter Cabin by Dimensions Gold. It's a cross stitch kit. And here's where I was before. And again, I pulled this one out um, for a challenge on semi sane stitchers. And I like that group. I just joined this year. Um, but a lot of their challenges are big chunks of stitching, like 1,000 to 5,000. So for things like this, it takes me a while to get into um, with all the blends and the half stitches. Uh, so that kind of challenge group really works for me. And this is where I am now. So you can see I got a big chunk of that corner done and it was a bit slow going. It was a bit slow going. Um, there's a lot of blends in that corner and half stitches, but there are four strands thick. But I really like how that turned out. And again, it was the challenges that give me the motivation to get this done this month. And I think next time I pull it out, I'm going to finish this Christmas tree. 
and then work along the top, along the cabin, there's less blends there and more full crosses and solid colours. So that is that one. I'm happy to get that one done. My next project again was for a challenge and it's easy for counting because it's one colour and it is Matter's Choice by Carriage House Samplings and here's where I was before. And now I kind of just work on this one in a haphazard way. If I get bored in one area, I just pick a strand and go off. It's, yeah, OCD people who are like, just finish one area. I'm like, no, get bored. And uh, this is just stitched in DMC 310, one strand over two. And this is four to count Buttercup by Under the Sea Fabrics. So this one will probably make another appearance this month for one of the challenges. Um, it's easy to count when it's a single color thread like that. It's really easy for some of the counting challenges to do. The next project was also a start and a finish this month. And this is With Love by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. This is stitched all in DMC. Uh, the only thing I changed, I think, was the two greens that are in the, the little circle flower border thing. I pulled them out the bobbin box and put them down and then they disappeared. So I had to pick something that was similar. And thinking about it now, I think Maya might have wandered off with them. She started stitching this month and she started with the Fiddlesticks AU charity, Koala. And she wants to stitch this one next. And I actually dyed this, which is just a 28 Charles Craft Monaco from Joanne's and a piece of Ada for Maya. So there's a good chance that she's wandered off with the greens. But this was a really quick little stitch. Uh, only took a day or two to stitch up. It was my car project. So that's him. And somebody on Instagram turned this into a little needle book. So I might try and do that because I never finish anything. It just goes into a bag of shame. So he deserves to be something cute. So that's him. And all these shops that I've mentioned, um, like Verbena and Frosty Pumpkin, I'll link everything below in the description box if you would like those charts too. My next project was um, The Grimm's Fairy Tale by Clouds Factory. And here's where I was before. And this month I stitched part two, which was the princess and the frog. That's there. And part three comes out soon. Full disclosure, I don't love this project. I think it's all the pink. Yeah. And I knew what this floss looked like for hand because they gave you a floss list. But yeah, the more I stitch it, I don't love the pink, but I'm going to keep going with it just now. but I can't guarantee I'll finish it. And this is stitched on 28 Count Lugana um, Caribbean Tides by Under the Sea Fabrics. And that's that one. Part three comes out in a day or two. So we'll see what that is. My next chart is a new start and it is Quaker, oh, can we see that? Quakers, I'll insert a picture actually. It'll be easier to see. This is this is Quaker Seasons of Friendship by the Crown and Thistle. And I just got this chart, so it's only got a tiny start on it. But Kenny of Kenny Stitches uh, sent me a picture of it. He's like, I've just ordered this. You need this chart. And I was like, after a hot minute, I was like, yeah, I do. How do I get it? And he just sent me a phone number and said, just pay them by card over the phone. They'll send you the chart. And so I did, I called this mystery number up and it was the lovely ladies at Dying to Stitch who answered the phone and they sorted me out with this chart within a couple of days. Uh, the same day that I ordered the chart, I ordered just some white for account linen from one, two, three, and they both arrived on the same day. And so I took that as a sign to start it. So I've just made a tiny start on this one. I think this was one, one night actually. You see, just a tiny little crab and I'm starting in the bottom left hand corner, which I never usually do. Um, I usually start top left, but I'm stitching it upside down so it doesn't really matter so that I don't have to hold the Q snap weird. And I'm stitching that, can you see? 
I'm stitching that in DMC 4025. And it's actually my favorite DMC variation thread. And that's that one there. It's like teals and oceany blues. And so I'd always sa I'd saved it for a long dog sampler. But yeah, then Kenny suggested this chart. So they were perfect. They went together. So that's that one. And my last whip for the month and is it my favorite and will be a finish in March is Sweet Bears by Soda Stitch. And here's where I was before. And now, uh, there we go, can we fit it all in? I just finished up that little cake bear at the bottom today. This one here, I was like, I'm not making a floss tube till I finish him up. So you can see I've just got two little bears at the bottom to do and I'm going to keep working on this one in March until that is finished. And this is on 28 count Opal Lugana in Winter Wishes by Hand Dyed, Fra Fra uh, Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. And this was a fabric of the month a long time ago. But that this one will be a marked finish. I'm determined. It won't take me a week or two. Um, so yeah, you can see that's all I have left. These two little bears at the bottom. I'm not going to stitch this this yellow thing and the little blue ninja stitches around because I don't want to carry my thread that much and I don't think it really needs it with the sparkly fabric. So that is top of my list to finish this well going into March. Um, I, since I'm nearly finished that, I ordered some more charts from Soda Stitch. I buy from her Etsy shop, which is Jeannie's Cross Stitch. Um, she has an Etsy shop too, but I think her eBay shop has more selection. Um, the first chart I ordered was this one. This is one of her new ones. It is pop-up shops. There's four charts and each has three shops. And I ordered this one for the little coffee shop. And that will be a start in March. I have some of the Zweigart Petty Point. Is it Petty Point? Um like top coloured fabric, uh, just stitch this one in first. Sorry, I can feel my voice going. It's the remnants of the flu. The next one I ordered was Rabbit's Journey. Oh, there we go. Sorry, the sun's shining on it. It's 80 degrees here in California today. I don't think the weather knows what it's up to, but that's Rabbit's Journey. And this is an older one, but I didn't have it. And it is Sewing Cats. I like that one too. Also in my plans to start, um, like a lot of people, I'm having a leap day start and I plan on doing uh, Moana. This is the artwork of Hannah, Hannah Alexander, charted by Pinky the Pink. Um, I'll link her Facebook and Etsy below. Um, she's massive. She takes up a whole fat quarter on 36 count. Um, and I'm going to start her because my fabric of the month from under the sea came in and it is perfect for it. So I ordered 36. This is Kelpie. It's a blue, green, ocean colour. So the reds of Moana will really stand out on this one. And that's that one. Uh, and she is full of beads and TMC Etoile and Treasure Braid. So I'm looking forward to starting her and maybe be done actually in four years time with the next leap year. Also from Under the Sea Fabric in my package, uh, Leslie's amazing and she gave me a second piece. I ordered a second piece of Kelpie because um, I knew that other piece had a plan to be used up. So I wanted to have another piece for my stash and this is 32 count Lugana. And it might actually be perfect for the Bella Filipina Mermaid, um, there we go. This is Enchantress of the Abyss and Leslie also stocks these in her shop if you want those. And I love that she's in a, she's not in your typical mermaid pose of like up and down or across, she's in the circle. And I have all the Bella Filipina Mermaids and I haven't started any of them. So they two might match up. Uh, also in my package was 
like me if you're in fabric of the month um and you just want an extra piece or if you're not in fabric of the month in december leslie puts them up for sale on her website and the colors that sell the most um make it to the main line um so look out for that if you're not part of fabric of the month and last time around i ordered this one which is 40 count selkie and it is an amazing neutral um samplers super great for and i use this a lot so this is for my stash the other piece i ordered that's really good uh this is 30 count 36 count icicle and it's a lovely lilac color um this is actually for moana's friend um i have tinkerbell too i also have merida kitty duck she was actually the first one i got and she's my favorite but my kids don't like her as much so that's why i'm starting with moana we watched brave recently um when we were off for quarantine <laughs> um and the entire movie uh the kids were like i don't understand what they're saying are they talking english like mom what are they saying and bear in mind we moved from we moved from scotland when they were four and two and maya just turned nine last week and elena's about to turn seven so any crumb of a scottish accent that they had left is gone and so yeah watching brave was a bit torturous the last thing that came this month and i'm whizzing through this because i can feel my voice going and i don't want to start coughing was lilith of labrador and that's the most recent mirabilla and i ordered the mini kit um from just sad needles marie on facebook um so this might be a start this month I'm not sure, it depends how much of Moana I get done. Um, I don't really want to start two, two big charts in the same month, but that is her. But I have some fabric for her. Um, it's an ombre purple from Fiberlicious, so a floss toss will be the deciding factor. Um, speaking of Just Add Needles, that's where I place my market pre-order and I've ordered charts from Tiny Modernist, Plum Street, um, Scarlet House, Blue Flower, Teresa Kogut, um, and some others, which I'm really excited to get, but less excited to get my invoice. Um, but hey, we got to support the designers, right? <laughs> uh, yes, so I'm excited to get those. And that's it. For the month look at that super quick and sharp um with no coffin at all that's me until that's my whips that's my immediate plans um i will see you hopefully in better health at the end of march uh please join me like and subscribe come back and join me i'll have fit some finishes uh, market goodies and in the meantime, you can follow along if you like at Mama Bear Stitchery on Instagram. I'm trying to be better at posting. And so you'll probably see my finish of Sweet Bears there first. But until then, I hope you have a great stitch month and you stay flu free. And I'll see you in a few weeks. Thank you. Bye.